What's up guys? I know we don't do too many political videos on this channel. Uh, this is gonna kinda be one. It's about guns. Uh, so I got this alert on my phone because I live in Colorado and uh, the local news station put out this alert to my phone for I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, so there is a, uh, we're just gonna get into it. So there's a gun buyback event to be held Saturday in Denver. Nearly 500 firearms have been turned in at four events this year. So you look at this right here. 500 firearms have been turned in at four events. So they're averaging about 100, 100 firearms per event. Uh, Denver, the fifth in a series of gun buyback events will be held Saturday in Denver. The voluntary anonymous buyback will take place at Park Hill Golf Course in Denver on Saturday, July 16 from 10 a.m. to 1300. The gun buyback events are led by Denver City Council Member Amanda Sawyer and Aurora at-large council member Curtis Gardner in partnership with Colorado Springs nonprofit Raw Tools and the Denver Broncos with the goal of reducing gun violence. Event participants can place their unloaded weapons in the back seat or trunk of their vehicles where trained <laughs> volunteers will access them at the drive through event. The event's organizer said the weapons will be destroyed following ATF guidelines and participants will receive gift cards, gift cards in exchange. Raw tools will melt down the guns and turn them into garden tools. At the first four events, nearly 500 firearms have been turned in. Organizers aim to host a total of eight events in 2022. Our communities have continued to be plagued by gun violence, especially among our youth, Sawyer said. The stories we have heard from these events demonstrate harm reduction in action, and I am proud to see this effort continue. These gun, excuse me, these gun buyback events provide an opportunity for the community to turn in unwanted firearms, and the response has been fantastic, Gardner said. Our partnership with the City of Denver Raw Tools and the Denver Broncos continues to be an effective tool in reducing unwanted firearms and violence in our community. So basically, Gardner and Sawyer just repeated each other. Uh, but let, let, let's just delve into this a little bit deeper. Okay, so 500 firearms in four events, averaging 100 firearms. They plan to do a total of 800 or eight events, which means an average of 800 firearms will be turned in. And they're calling this a huge success. <laughs> they, they are flat out calling it a success. Um, it's it's ridiculous. 800 firearms. That's not a success. That's mediocre at best. But this is what politicians on both the right and the left do, they manipulate the data to call something a success even though it's not really a success. Um, they would call one firearm being turned in a success. <laughs> so, um, But that's not the problem. They're calling it a gun buyback. They're not buying back your guns. Understand that, guys. They cannot buy back something that they never originally owned. So it's not a buyback. This is theft. That's what this is. This is voluntary theft. These people who are doing this event, who are giving their guns away, they're allowing the government to steal their guns because you know damn good and well that these gift cards that they're getting don't equal anything close to the amount that they paid for these firearms. Nothing. It's probably maybe 25% the value of the firearm. Maybe. Um, the, the gift cards I'm guaranteeing are probably about 100 bucks. <laughs> and it's probably like a Visa gift card or something like that. Um, it's just absolute theft. And people are going through with this. I mean, you can go through what, what these people are doing. Instead of just going to a pawn shop and selling their firearm at a pawn shop where they'll get way more than what the government's given them. They're letting the government take the money. They could sell these firearms privately um, online and say, hey, look, you know, in the state of Colorado, uh, we have to go to an FFL and do a transfer of ownership. 
and that's the law in Colorado. If you're going to sell your own firearm to somebody else, you have to do a transfer of ownership. Otherwise, you're breaking the law. Um, and that could lead to bad things. But um, you can get way, way more money for your firearm outside of just turning it into the government. <laughs> uh, so this is just stupid. The people who are doing this are dumb. Uh, on, on a financial scope, they're stupid. Uh, going on, uh, so <laughs> um, this part here, event participants can place their unloaded weapons into the backseat of the trunk of their vehicles where trained volunteers will access them via the drive through event. So it, well, let's continue. Um, the weapons will be destroyed following ATF guidelines and participants will receive gift cards. They'll be melted down and turned into garden tools. This is a big problem because the ATF guidelines don't say that they have to check the serial numbers of those firearms to make sure that they're not stolen. So people, and I know this is happening because I thought of it. If I thought of it, then I know somebody else did and somebody else is stupid enough to follow through with it. You got people out there stealing firearms who are gonna go and sell it to the government and it's basically amnesty. They get to sell these stolen firearms for a profit because they are not checking these serial numbers. I guarantee they're not checking these serial numbers to make sure that the firearm is not stolen before they take it and melt it down. That is theft on two different levels. <laughs> so the first theft is the firearm being stolen and if you reported it stolen, like you, you're supposed to by law, you're supposed to report your firearm stolen. It got stolen in the first place and then the government's stealing it by not making sure that you get your firearm back because they are not checking these numbers. They are not checking the database on stolen firearms to make sure none of them are being handed to them to, on this so-called buyback. This is so horrible. It's wrong on so many levels, but people think it's a good thing, and it's not. But anyways, guys, we're going to cut it there. That's just my opinion on the matter. I saw this. I had to do a video. I just had to. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit that like button. If I earned it, hit that subscribe button. As always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.